In the last video, we implemented the map and the routing by calling Google's API. I think at this point, it'd be a good time to implement the markers on the map. We're gonna do this by calling a function. This is a function that we're gonna implement. Now we just need to import the marker from React Native Maps. Oops, I made a mistake. We also need to give this an index. Okay, excellent. So now our markers are showing up on the map. I think right now would be a good time to implement pressing on the marker. Okay, excellent. So we can see that whenever we press on the marker, we're getting a console log as expected. When the user presses on this marker, we want to update the route to the marker. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and set destination here because this is what we'll need in order to implement the photo. Lastly, we'll call the function that we implemented earlier, merge chords, after we set state. Okay, excellent. Whenever we press on a marker, the route is drawn again. That's because on marker press, we set the new state from the location that we press for destination, deslat, deslong, and then we call our function that we implemented earlier. Now, let's go ahead and display the photo of the destination that we've selected. Let's give it some styling. We don't have width and height yet, so we need to define them. Ooh, 
oops, we forgot to import image. Okay, so whenever we click on this marker, I expect for us to be able to see an image at the bottom. Excellent. Now we've got an image. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is implement the header up top, which gives us information about the distance, time, and destination. We're going to get this information from Google. So right now, we're just going to console log the response from Google so we can see what type of data that we have available. Okay, here it is. You can see that Google gives us all types of useful information, but right now we're just interested in the routes, zero index, legs, distance, and duration. This is where we're gonna get the information to add to our header. So let's go ahead and add a view to the bottom for the header. We'll do the same thing for distance. And right now we don't have time and distance available because we haven't actually figured them out yet. So let's go ahead and grab this off of state. And when we get the time and distance back from Google, we'll go ahead and set state with that too. Okay, we made an error, so let's go ahead and check out what we have here. Distance, duration. Okay, excellent. So we've now got the estimated time as well as the estimated distance to this location. And now let's go ahead and click a marker and pay attention as the image shows up as well as the time and the distance updates. So we went from 15 minutes to 11, back to 15, excellent. Okay, so the application has a bunch of cool features.
So you can see that with a very small number of functions that we implemented, we got a lot of behavior. I'm gonna leave the last part of the application for you guys to do. I console log the address, end address, start address. So you can really do whatever you want with this application. All right, so thank you for viewing. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video and want to see more content like this.